Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan and the topic of this 10 minute moan is quite an amazing article from 70 years ago that I've stumbled upon um, regarding global warming. Now, those who have watched my videos, I've not done any global warming videos and things, but I do talk about it from time to time in some of my videos when I'm discussing other relevant things. We'll be well aware that I feel that this climate change, as it's now called, which is phenomenal because it used to be global warming and we changed that at some point in history, and I don't know when, but remember it was climate, it was global warming for a long time, and now we've just flipped it to call it climate change, when reality is climate has been changing for three and a half billion years. So when you say, oh, we need to stop using petrol cars because of climate change, you can't lose that argument because the climate will change. You've now got two heads and tails, both sides of a coin toss. You cannot lose that argument because it might get colder, it might get warmer, it might get windier, it might get calmer. Um, so, you know, <laughs> you can't lose. So I, I've always been curious to, as when we changed and why we changed the wording from global warming. Now, my own theory is, we spoke about it for probably a decade or two and then realised that the earth wasn't warming. So these people who are on this narrative, and now it's happened because we've been on that narrative for some time, whole industries have formed, you know, attached to this narrative of global warming. Millionaires and billionaires are created and there's lots of big businesses now involved in this narrative of global warming. So when we kind of realised, well, possibly over the last 20 years, the earth hasn't, increased in temperature at all. Got to protect his industry, so we'll now discuss it as climate change. So what I was doing was I was trying to find, and it was ironic the way it worked, because I was trying to find when was the first time we spoke about this? When did this theory start? Right? And I was searching and seeing some things and wasn't sure if that was the earliest or not. And then lo and behold, I was on Twitter yesterday and this article was just popped up in front of me. And I read it, and my jaw dropped. And I thought, but is that true? It could be a fake um, screenshot of an article that was actually written yesterday, but try to tell us it was written 70 years ago. However, I'm now confident, as confident as I can be, that the article is genuine, because I've found another copy of the article on a website called newspaper.com. Now, newspaper.com, is part of the Ancestry.com group. You know, the people that help you build your um, family trees and has been in existence for a long time. So I'm now more confident. Now, it could still be a complete hoax. Who am I? But I believe now, rather than just seeing a screenshot on Twitter and throw a video out there based on one thing, I feel now I've done enough research into the actual article to give me enough faith that it is true but it still could be the biggest hoax in the world. However, the article is from, and this is brilliant because it's what they do is they find old newspapers and they digitise them. So they digitise the whole page first. And this is articles actually from page four. Um, it was a page four of an article in a paper in Melbourne, Victoria, on Monday the 8th of April, 1957. So that's nearly 70 years ago, right? And the headline was, Oil Use... Use brings flood threat. And the article, they got it from Los Angeles on April the 7th, this was April the 8th, they're printing it, from the AAP, which I believe is the American um, Press Association type thing, right? And the article reads, Ocean levels could rise 40 feet, ringing bells already, and flood vast areas of the earth in the next half century. So that would have been by the end of the millennium ish, 20 years ago, right? Unless atmospheric temperatures are controlled, a prominent physicist said yesterday. The physicist Dr. Joseph Kaplan, who I'm happy to accept as a real man because I've done some research on him and his background, I think he was Hungarian and um, came to America as a youth and, and was quite a prominent figure, quite an intellectual man and, uh, and uh, you know, quite a, a forward thinker of his day, um, said such flooding could occur 
as a result of accelerated melting of the polar ice caps. Now, this is a phenomenon that we've all heard of, right? As we've been getting told this probably all our adult life, at least some of us of a certain age. Um, should the oceans rise by 40 feet, these waters would roll through parts of New York, London, San Francisco, and many other coastal cities. Again, a fear that we've all had through stories we've been told throughout our life. Dr. Kaplan, a professor at the University of California at Los Angeles and head of the U.S. National Committee for the 57-58 International Geophysical Year, said the melting of the ice caps was being speeded up by man's tremendous use of now, this is good. This is something that I do like about the story. Oil and gas. What do we call oil and gas today? We call them fossil fuels. So this is the one of the guys that was the biggest minds in that field 70 years ago, using the term oil and gas, not fossil fuels. Because there is a school of thought that fossil fuels is a myth. And oils and gas are actually natural products of Earth. Now, I'm not that clever to get involved in that debate. I couldn't tell you whether the fossil fuels or the natural products that are just manufactured, you know, through the time in, 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 inside the Earth. But there are people far more clever than me that suggest it's a lot of bollocks and they're not fossil fuels. What all I will say is the fact that this guy is saying that's, these words, the use of oil and gas and not using fossil fuels to write such a big paper 70 years ago, was suggesting to me that the theory of it being fossil fuels is more modern. We're changing the Earth's atmosphere, he said. He said the burning of fuels was of such great magnitude that discharged gases were creating a greenhouse effect over the Earth. Now, this is a word that they've put in inverted commas, so it must be quite a new word at the time, and that's a word that seems to have carried since then. So I'd imagine if first we heard the greenhouse gases or greenhouse effect was Dr. Kaplan back in 1957. The gases were warming the atmosphere as far as 15 to 16 miles up, he said, and would have a great effect on the Arctic and Antarctic ice masses. Dr. Kaplan said, now this is scary. This was a bit that I thought this article can't be true, right? Because the next few paragraphs. Dr. Kaplan said heat control was an answer to the threat. We, now, we, are, we are now working on a method of controlling man's environment. The temperature of the world, he said, gets even spookier. We've already fired rockets into the upper atmosphere, discharged chemicals that affect the temperature of the atmosphere in 1957. Control by man of the Earth's weather and temperature is within the realm of practicality now. Now being the 7th of August, 1957. The end result of our studies of temperature control will be more important to the survival of man than atomic energy. That blew my mind. And I'm going, that's proper tinfoil hat stuff, isn't it? That's stuff that would get folk looking at your street and pointing and going, that's that crackpot that said, right? This is heavy stuff. Now, again, is this article true? I don't know. I've used as much as I can. I've looked into it. I've seen it as a screenshot and thought that could be bollocks. It could be fake, right? Because it's quite easy to fake these things. But the fact now that I've got references to it in newspaper.com, which is Ancestry.com's website, kind of has me scratching my head. But it also, th this whole weather control, by the way, was not the reason for me getting to where I am now with this story. My whole thing was the conversion from terming global warming to suddenly, we'll now call it climate change. Is it be now this is me throwing something with no nothing to substantiate it whatsoever other than a thought in my head, right? Is it possible that we have somehow managed to control the weather 
so far as we're not going to get global warming, but the people that have made a full industry, we've got all these millionaires and billionaires, people that quite like to keep their money rolling in. So we've got this whole industry now based on global warming that have changed the narrative to climate change. And if we have got the power to control temperature and weather, are we all just getting told a lie? Are we all just getting fed for the sake of some rich elite somewhere that have been involved with this for 70 years? I don't know, because I'm not that clever. But I know some people that are clever that are watching this that will be able to tell me more. So if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've not already done so, please hit the subscribe and notification bell. Please comment below, plenty of them. I'm a newbie to this. I ain't trying to convince everybody about aliens and, you know, um, what do you call it, um, you know, spraying stuff out of planes and all that. I'm not that clever, right? I'm not that experienced in that field. But I'd like to open the debate. So please crack on in the comments below. Anyway, most importantly of all, as long as you're not one of these people that without even being able to argue a single point, want to tell me that as a British citizen and to be fair, in the rest of the Western Europe, that we need to destroy our industries to chase the notion of net zero. While letting other people, India, China, etc., do whatever the hell they like. Not you, but... Everyone else, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.